and I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Brzezinski. Dr. Stanislaw Brzezinski, MD, PhD. Wow. Um, today I'm here to talk to you guys about a, uh, a scandal that is happening right under our noses. <laughs> um, so, uh, for this talk, I'm going to separate you guys into four groups. Um, you guys here are going to represent the, um, big pharmaceutical oh, sorry. the big pharmaceutical companies. Um, like the, the NCI, the National Cancer Institute, Amgen, Johnson Johnson, Pharma, and Merck. Uh, you guys develop, market, and uh, produce medications. Um, you guys are the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration. Um, you guys uh, are responsible for protecting and promoting the public health. And uh, you guys are the US government. Um, so basically, these three groups right here are to blame for the four, uh, for the death of four-year-old Kristen, um, she has developed a highly severe um, cancerous tumor in her uh, in her brain, and is spread down to her spine. Um, and this little group right here is going to represent her family. So, the day Kristen was diagnosed, um, the doctor sat you guys down, and uh, basically gave you two options. They um, they said, okay, either take her home and let her die there or you bring her back in for massive dosages of chemo and radiation therapy. Um, so thinking her only chance of, of living is uh, going to the second option, you took her back in and give her the, the standard treatments. Um, so chemo and radiation have very, very horrible, very ugly side effects and potentially deadly side effects. Um, during the process, um, she was burned so badly, uh, she acquired um, secondary burns and uh, her hair never grew back. Uh, to change your diapers, you needed to uh, wear rubber gloves because um, her the therapy made her urine so toxic and it, it burned on, on skin contact. Um, so surprisingly, after six months, she was still alive. Uh, she still had cancer, but um, the doctors sat you guys down again and they said, um, you know, we're sorry, we've done everything we could and uh, she's probably gonna die soon. So, um, this doesn't discourage you guys. You guys get even more determined. You do your research, um, and you find me, Dr. Brzezinski. Um, uh, so, let me tell you how my, uh, my treatment is different from the traditional um, chemo and radiation. Uh, so, in my studies, I've, I've discovered this uh, string of peptides um, found in human blood and urine. Uh, I also found that people with cancer don't have these peptides. Uh, however, um, healthy people have an abundance of them. So um, I thought it was a simple matter of simply administering these synthesized peptides, or antineoplastons, as they name them, um, to these cancer patients. I thought it'd be very helpful in treating the disease. Um, so only 20 months, 20 months after you guys came to me with Kristen, um, she was completely rid of cancer with no signs of the tumor. Um, unfortunately, just a few years later, uh, she died. Um, and no, it was not because of my medication. It was due to the, um, the chemo and radiation that she had previously taken. Uh, the autopsy actually showed that she was completely cancer-free. Um, so now you guys are wondering, so if your medication is so great, why isn't it um, found in hospitals, like curing people like Kristen right now, the millions of people with cancer. Um, well, it takes a lot of money to um, to mass produce um, um, medications, uh, which frankly I don't have any. Um, unlike the other clinical trials that are funded by the NCI and um, and funded by the the big pharmaceutical companies, uh, the U.S. government currently prohibits any of our taxes to be granted to me. Um, 
Now, I, I virtually treated every known type of cancer. Uh, breast, bladder, lung, kidney, uh, brain, you name it. Uh, the FDA actually um, established that my medication is non-toxic. Uh, I've had patients that have had tumors that were universally known to be fatal and even incurable, but um, it just disappeared after they came to me. Uh, even the NCI uh, found that all the city patients of mine were either substantially improved or completely cured. Um, so still, why doesn't the government uh, want to give me money? Um, simple, they don't want to lose their customers to me. Um, the, the big boys, the, the big pharmaceutical companies, they are the most profitable industries on earth. Um, and how do they make all the money? The millions of cancer patients uh, take their medications every day. Uh, do you guys know how much one dose of chemotherapy costs? No. It costs over a thousand dollars. And uh, they don't take, they, like each patient doesn't take just one, they take several of these. Um, and with that, because they rely on the FDA um, as a sort of gatekeeper to, um, to introduce and to advertise their products, uh, you guys remain friends. Um, and because the FDA is an office of the U.S. government, uh, it's in the government's best interest to preserve one of its most powerful and profitable industries. How do they, how do, they do that? How do they preserve one of their most um, profitable industries? They try to get me out of the picture. They do everything they can to shut me down. They've uh, tried several times to shut me down. When citizens uh, find out about my treatment, they'll see that it's, it's way cheaper, it's way safer, and it has way less side effects than... Um, than the traditional chemo and radiation. What's more important, money or human lives?